Shinra's premier wine. So no, Barrett is not at the bar this time. There's Tifa. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Freaking bullshit. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Our town. We are recruiting. Getting through there. Where's Big Boy? Oh my gosh! Actual customers! What? Okay. I thought this place was busy enough that that wouldn't be such a problem. Fair enough. So you can buy those if you like. Come back again! Please? Yeah, she got so excited to have customers and then I got nothing. Children I feel a bit planet. mad, but... Listen, heed the voice of our great mother. Hear how she weeps. How she um, that's Priscilla's place, I think. Where's Barrett? I think, yeah, at least they're kind of... There's a nice little indication. It doesn't tell you which of them it is, but at least you can see. Um, Barrett. I have to assume maybe Barrett is there. Sea Dragon Square, by the way, it's called. Yeah, I can't see any indication of anyone else for now. Had to be Turks. The suits are off. Brittle house. Oh, made your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> this just seems so not cloud to me. Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky. What with the lack of sunlight. I truly appreciate the challenge. As always, I'd welcome tips about other promising spots. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot to explore. Let's have a look up this bit then. Should be where Priscilla's place used to be in the OG. Enough, nothing yet. I think for this bit, at least, I, I kind of want the music a bit higher. Yeah, it's not the kind of music that overpowers dialogue. Really Oil. beautiful. Have you met Priscilla yet? Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Sea brace stinks of mock. Yeah, Barrett might be in the inn. I think we'll just go on to there for now. Oh my, what is this the skeleton of? Wow, that's what's a skeleton of. Believe it or not, those bones over there came from a real fish. I'll never forget the day we reeled it in. Nearly capsized ten times over, but we caught it. Wow. <laughs> Impressive they caught that. Okay. Let's just progress things to see what happens. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, ah. please! Help! Sick. That's... Ah, Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. She needs a tough guy, huh? Okay. I'm going to save here. Now... Obviously, we know what we're fighting here, so I'm gonna take a bit of time here. 
try and do this right. Lightning materia. I'm going to swap again for more lightning. Damn, wind material went up to level 2 as well. That's nice. Okay. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Anybody, please! We gotta go! Now! There she There's is. A monster attacking the boat! Wait. Um. Yeah, everyone basically has full HP. We'll be fine. This way! Down here! Quickly, okay. please! Uh, uh, help! Oh, look who it is! Here we go. This is a fun battle. I'm just trying to charge some kind of ATB here, but again, I can't. Let's free him. Right. Let's begin with some of that. There's that pressure. You know what? While it's pressured, I'm just going to keep going here. I got this. Take the lead. Try. Leave it to me. Okay, I blocked that, so didn't work out too badly. Let's give it a bio, actually. I'll show you what I can do. Ah, stop it! Hang on. Ah. Shit. Better off with that. <laughs> Nah, it's okay. I think we can do enough damage here. Okay. Deal with that. Follow us. There we go. Red actually gets a chance to attack here. There it is. We've got a synergy ability available. Nice. Don't give up now, you guys. What now? Wow. 
Watch the water. Sheesh. It's really cool that my non-active party members are still around in general. I think that's a nice touch. I will heal red as well while I'm here. Don't overdo it. Nice. Hit the water cell with that. There you go. Nice. I actually managed to pull up a <laughs> bit of a block there. Red almost has a limit here. Let's do this. Oh shit. We're almost there. Still taking poison damage, by the way. Might die underwater. Okay. Oh, I was just about to unleash the limit break. I'm gonna wait for it here. Let's heal red first. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> Mr. Dolphin. She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Yeah, so clever, clever decision here, I think, to replace Stop Priscilla me. with Yuffie, because obviously we had to wonder how is she going to be integrated into the story here. So you this is obviously quite a legit change There's from the OG, no but it's not one that ever really bothered me. Uh, I found this out obviously in September so when I did cool. the preview, but I didn't include this in my preview to not spoil anyone. But I need to get her breathing again. I think ultimately it's a good move. Help! Right, here we go. Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Damn, we're proper doing the mini game here. Now, start! Uh guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. 
And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You make moron! Dum 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 dum! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. How now? Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. There we go, my friends. Yuffie. This is where she appears in our story. What else is lurking in these waters? And Priscilla, Mr. Dolphin here. Thanks so much, you guys. Those were some fancy moves. <laughs> my name's Priscilla, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so she isn't featuring in the same way, but I'm sure we'll probably have uh, scenes and stuff with her later. Oh, certainly something, isn't she? Huh? What a relief this didn't turn out. Wrong. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Okay then, let's see if we can get Yuffie into the party. Like the more I see Yuffie, obviously the re like the remake version of Yuffie and stuff, I'm more like she just has such Riku energy in the sense of like Riku feels more and more inspired by Yuffie to me. Like not directly, it's not like oh yeah, it's like they kind of made the same character, but you can definitely s see like resemblances. Sorry, the ship won't be leaving port until the festivities are over. Okay. It's like I fully expected almost for her to say like "Please to meet ya" in like they're in Riku's voice. Or something like that. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. Okay. <laughs> hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later. <laughs> okay. Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Yeah, I mean Yuffie's energy is a, is a good match for, for this group. It's definitely an element that's not currently present in the group. And that's why it does remind me a little of Riku. Like, if you look at the party until Riku joins, her energy is just so different from everybody else. She has a much more childlike, uh, naive energy, which I think really was a, was a boost for the group. And again, the cast, I think, of, of this game is really strong too. And Yuffie's a, a nice addition for that, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, before I head out and try to do some um, quests and stuff, obviously my goal is to see if Yuffie will join me for them. So let's continue story progress here, and I will uh, see how that goes. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. Nice. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Yay. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Yeah, glad Red got a room too. I can um, feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. 
And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. I see that weapon chest in there. But yeah, that was kind of weird. Come in. Can't go in? No. Okay. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Yeah. I'm sick. Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? <laughs> you shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. <laughs> I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. <laughs> Water under the bridge. But next time... There we go. So, we're doing well. All green and smiles. Empress's scepter. Very nice. Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. So that progresses the story. I'm gonna do the others first, obviously. Oh, okay. Yes? Let's do our patrols. So you have a chest. Everyone gets a new weapon in their room, basically. Chat to Red. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. Okay, he's happy too. So far, so good. That's what I mean. I, I obviously I want to have a good relationship with everyone. So that's Aerith. This is a room I haven't been in. It's open. The big boy. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. Yeah, I don't blame him. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? That's true. Where is Tifa? Is she downstairs? Yeah, she must be. Just about to come find you. Yeah, I. You. 
regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. There you go. Cloud deepening his bond and I didn't even have to do anything. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Um, sorry. Oh, well, his family ran the general store. Was about our age. Right. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. So, for that one, I decided to be truthful. I think there's a very obvious answer there, where it's like, the only person I remember is you, Tifa. But honestly, to me, it's I've always found it as one of the more interesting aspects of the story, like what Tifa thinks about Cloud's story and all that stuff. So the fact that she did test him there and he basically failed the test, I find that more interesting narratively. So yes, <laughs> Team Tifa and all that, but uh, I feel like that one is was just more natural and truthful for the narrative. I'm not going to pretend because maybe I don't know is it one of those questions where if you know your Final Fantasy 7 well enough you could answer that question I, I genuinely don't know like maybe people know who Emilio is and I'm the only person who doesn't know but I genuinely didn't remember who that was so I just answered truthfully and that's where it got me but I think at the moment Cloud and Tifa's relationship being that way I think it's probably in my mind, it feels more right, unfortunately. I mean, they both doubted each other, so it's, it's not. It's going to take some time for that to, to heal. And well, Cloud will eventually need to process everything and tell her about everything. Why do I get so much lightning material? What's going on? Number four. Okay, let's sleep, meet Yuffie, and then see if she's joining now or later. Definitely a well-earned rest. Okay. 
now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! <laughs> Uh, Wu-Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that! <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Come here. <laughs> Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime and a assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra? That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here, anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. <laughs> Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? <sighs> a pain in the ass. <laughs> Well, isn't that interesting? I literally talked about Roche and I was not expecting him to show up here. I genuinely didn't know that he did. And well, Yuffie is certainly not joining the party yet. So yeah, that did not quite go to plan. So this should be interesting. Roche round two. Hmm.